Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. A folding saw is something that I carry with me all the time and it's very handy to have. The question is how big of a folding saw do you really need on most day trips? I'm usually processing wood that's pretty small for my twig stoves. I'm not making a large fire with larger diameter pieces, so why carry a larger saw? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Don't. My go-to saw has been a silky saw, one of two that I own for many years. I used to use a Laplander saw, the Baco Laplander. That was about five or six years ago I made the switch. I saw a lot of people on YouTube using the silky saws and I made the switch and they're wonderful saws, they really are. But I've found that they're often overkill, like I said on my day trips. I really only need to cut small stuff. It's nice to have a bigger saw that I can cut a four or five inch piece of wood, but I usually don't ever do it. I also wanted something that I could keep inside of my orange Hidden Woods When Possible's pouch. That's where I keep all of my fire kit. I wanted it to be something that would fit right in there. Let me show you guys what I found. Knives from the French company Openel are extremely popular for many reasons. They're super sharp, uh, simple to operate. They have a classic look. And this saw fits right along with it. Open it up for you guys very simply. It's got this little cam lock here. You unlock it, pull the blade out to lock it back. Just twist it like that, and there's your saw. Blade length is five inches, and the total length is 11 and a quarter inches. It says it'll cut branches less than 3.1 inches in diameter. This blade is carbon steel. It's got kind of an anti-corrosion coating that I found over time with these OpenL products. Works really, really well. The teeth are oriented towards the handle, so that means that this will cut on the pull stroke as opposed to pushing through. You want to pull through and that's going to be your major cutting stroke. The weight is a very impressive 3.6 ounces. This is a beach handle which is the classic uh, type of wood and look from Open L. The price is $35, not the cheapest in the world, but as you can see a very very nice product. Like I do with most of my gear, I just put a little bit of orange paracord on here. That way if I drop it on the ground, I'm processing wood or whatever, it's really easy to find it and I won't leave it behind. You see it says Number 12 right here, made in France. You can make that out. Open L, very, very nice. Again, to close it, just like all the other Open L products, you just twist this, and that allows you to shut this down, twist it back. You can't open it now. And that is this awesome Open L saw. Well, what do I think about this saw from OpenL? Well, it has taken up permanent residence in my fire kit and is gonna remain there for the time being. It has limitations, of course, it can't cut pieces of wood as big as my silky saws, my 240 or 210, but day to day it works perfectly for what I use it most, which is just getting small stoves started with little twigs. It's great for that application. Pair it with a nice knife for baton work and you've got everything you need to keep your smaller wood stove and even a little bit larger wood stove like the five inch firebox. You can keep it going long term with just those two tools. Without a saw, you're often limited to just what you can break with your hand. It's not safe at all to try to baton down wood that's not cut flat on one side. So if you're just breaking stuff, even if you can break something big enough on the side of a tree, for example, you still aren't going to be able to baton it safely without a saw. It's not the least expensive saw out there. You can buy a silky saw for about the same price or just a little bit more, but it's all about what you're looking for. I wanted a specific saw for a specific purpose, and that's exactly what I got, and I cannot be happier with the product or the quality absolutely love the open l folding saw hope you guys did as well i'm always looking to add more products to my kit i do a lot of reviews and i do a lot of different things but i also go out a lot on my own without a camera and when i do that i take the kit that i really want to carry with me and this particular saw is going to be there all the time inside of this fire kit i actually have a pretty short video about this fire kit and what's always in there the only thing it's not is this open l saw because it wasn't around when i made that video but that video Plus the open L is what's in there right now. Do me a favor guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube. I know I say that every time, but I'm telling y'all, it really helps. So hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. 
And if you want to be absolutely sure you don't miss any videos, hit the notification bell. I'm wrapping up my time here in Arkansas. It is absolutely beautiful. I was just down the river hiking to do some fishing and I decided against it. Let me, let me show you guys why I decided against it. Ooh, he just scared the crap out of me. Look at that thing. Yeah, that thing scared me to death. Um, whew, almost stepped on it. Turned right around, came right back, said, I'll just shoot another video. Maybe I'll work on editing instead of fishing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna fish down here where I can see easily. As always, guys, I really appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.